up everyone? I'm your female otaku and I'm here to review episode 7 of Haikyuu season 2. And, well, I was hoping they would focus on Suki. Since, you know, last week I did mention how I noticed Suki wasn't as passionate or at least trying to get better like the rest of them, not motivated whatsoever and I'm so glad that they dove into that within this episode okay because with the beginning part of the episode you saw how motivated the characters are and that they're getting a bit too excited but they're also learning from each other as well like how much has this guy learned how much has the other guy learned what about the ones behind me okay because they're all starting to bump into each other but that's how they're learning okay so that was pretty cool to see and how they're going to work that all out. And then we have uh, the second half focused on Suki. Okay, so we find a couple of things with him. One is that he may have an older brother. And I think that might be true because we just saw like this quick little flashback that Suki had in the episode. And you saw this one guy who had the exact same hair color as him on the ground and I was just still like, wait, why are there two of him? But then we hear that, uh, what, what's his name, Tanaka's uh, older sister, how uh, she mentioned that there was a guy named uh, uh, Tsukishima or something like that. So, I don't know, I don't know, we'll see. Pro probably he does have an older brother or something. So, I'm really glad that they're diving into Suki's character, okay? Cause because Overall, he really doesn't have too much screen time, so I'm really that, glad that he's getting some focus, and he's going to get even more focus next week, okay? So we also get to see a little bit of his insight on volleyball, okay? Because he clearly, to me at least, he clearly doesn't hate volleyball. It's just he sees it as just a club. For those of you who don't know, in the majority of Japanese high schools, it is highly, highly recommended or you're basically forced to join at least one school club. So therefore, Suki, he was just still like, you know, I'll just, I'll just do volleyball since that I have to do that. So that's, volleyball was probably the only thing that he was good at or somewhat interested in, something that he could do, something that he could pass, okay? So that's probably mo the um, reason why he chose volleyball, but he doesn't do it because he really loves the sport and is totally dedicated. No, he just does it because he's required to, all right? So I think that's pretty interesting. And then we saw how he was looking at his teammates and he just saw them all so motivated. And he's just so like, why put in the extra work? It's just a club. And I honestly thought that sentence was gold because a lot of people think like that and that's not wrong really because um you also hear the coach saying how he'll still keep Suki it's just that he's not gonna really make Suki one of the first people you know to be out on the court and stuff he's gonna keep him on the sidelines the majority of the time if he doesn't pick up because Suki as you know he's tall and stuff and he's a valuable asset to the team but he would benefit them even more if he tried harder okay so I understand the coach's reasons because I believe I said this last week is that if he's not as passionate or working hard as the rest of the team then he's just gonna bring them bring them all down and it's not fair to the others so you gotta do what's good for the team okay I would hate for everyone to be brought down just because of one person because we see how hard they're working and I don't want all that to go to waste so really glad that we're getting this focus I love the episode it was so funny at the beginning of the episode when they were just all like is that Tokyo Tower and they're like no it's just a landline <laughs> that was so funny okay and then you have Kagayama in the back he's like so that wasn't Tokyo Tower that's great that's great okay so Catch me tomorrow as I review. What do I review? Okay, a comment, Lucifer. I do a live reaction to Kamori san, Can't Decline, and oh yeah, One Punch Man. I'm your female otaku, Sayonara.